I'm gonna puke. Pretty tasty. Snake, are you there? Eva? Did you miss me? Did you make it without any trouble? No one saw me. So you're back with Volgan? In a matter of speaking. What about the boss? Yeah, she's here too. Better be careful. Thanks, I will. The boss and I get along pretty well, though. I guess we traitors have a lot in common. Why would anyone want to defect? Betraying your country like that, I, I just don't get it. Are you talking about the boss? Why'd you do it? Weren't you born and raised in America? Yes, in a small rural town. I never even knew there were other countries, other cultures, other ways of thinking. Until I went to work for the NSA. And one day, I'd found I'd lost faith in the things I'd been taking for granted. What did you see? What was it that made you want to change sides? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Try me. I saw the universe. The universe? Not the actual universe. The universe as the intelligence community sees it. I realized that the gravity in this universe was holding me back. That's all. People and countries are both changed by their environment. And by the times. That sounds like what the boss was saying. 
There's a world of difference between this country and America, but it's only a difference of position, a difference of perspective. Coming here made me realize something. Half of what I'd been told was a complete and utter lie. The other half was a conveniently constructed lie. Where's the truth then? It's hidden in the lies. Are you lying too? Who knows? I've been trained to make even the most severe falsehood sound like the honest truth. Weren't you? No. I believe because I have to, even if it is a lie. That's part of my mission. I'll have to remember that. If you need me, give me a call on the radio. My frequency is 142.52. See ya.
What's wrong? Nation. I'm gonna puke.
Wow, you caught a coral snake. The coral snake is a venomous snake that originally hails from the Americas. Its venom is a very potent neurotoxin, so don't let it bite you. If you do get bitten, go into the survival viewer right away and use Cure to neutralize the poison with a serum injection. The colorful red and black patterns on the coral snake are a warning sign. Apparently, the bright flashy colors and pattern let other animals know that it carries a deadly poison that keeps them from attacking. There are many animals that mimic the colors of known poisonous animals as a defense. See, by mimicking other poisonous creatures, they increase their chances of survival. There is another non-poisonous snake called the milk snake that borrows its coloring from the coral snake. Uh-huh. You're not even listening, are you? No. <sighs> I see you've caught a coral sn I, I mean, a milk snake. The milk snake closely resembles the coral snake, but it's actually not venomous. Even so, you'll still take damage if it bites you, so don't get too close. Hmm. So is there a way to tell the difference between a milk snake and a coral snake? It's pretty difficult. They really do look almost exactly alike. I guess if I had to pick something, I'd say it's that the milk snake is much less aggressive. Okay. Ah, I just thought of a better way. You're going to love this. What? Eat it. Eat it? Yeah. The guide says milk snakes don't taste very good. Yeah, I know. But if I've already caught and eaten it, what does it matter which kind of snake it was? It doesn't, does it? Shoot, I thought I had a good idea. <laughs> I see you caught yourself a reticulated python. The reticulated python is said to be the longest snake in the world. The biggest ones can grow up to 10 meters in length. Although they're not poisonous, they're still very dangerous, so be careful around them. They have a highly ferocious temperament, and they can swallow whole, even large animals like deer and pigs. Their most distinguishing feature is the mesh pattern of their scales. This pattern acts as a highly effective natural camouflage. If you think there might be a reticulated python about, pay close attention to your surroundings. Otherwise, you could get bitten before you even know it's there. It's a huge snake, but you should be able to capture it alive by using the tranquilizer gun. I'll bet if you capture one and throw it at an enemy, it'll give him a good scare. You've eaten one, haven't you? Yeah. It wasn't half bad. Oh, cannibal. What was that? Nothing. Talk to you later. I see you've captured an Indian gavial. The Indian gavial is a crocodile that originally lived in freshwater regions in India and Nepal. Why are Indian crocodiles way out here? They're captive crocodiles that were brought here for research purposes, but escaped and became wild again. Indian gavials are large creatures. Adult males grow to over six meters in length. You'll never catch one alive, even if you use the tranquilizer gun. I tried the meat. It was great. Well, good for you. But be careful when capturing an Indian gavial. Normally, they're cowardly creatures. But the ones in the forest there are belligerent. Apparently, they attack humans. What do you mean? They weren't the direct subject of any serious research, but some think they may have become violent as a side effect of the atomic research that was conducted nearby. I see you've caught yourself an arowana. The arowana is an ancient fish that lives in tropical freshwater areas. Because of its large size, I don't think you'll be able to capture one alive. Ancient fish like the arowana are living fossils. They've hardly changed their form since the Devonian and Jurassic periods. Other ancient fish besides the arowana include the coelacanth, the starlet, and the knife fish. Almost all organisms on Earth have evolved in various shapes and forms, but these fish have kept the same form for hundreds of millions of years. Baffling, isn't it? Sure. Well, I can see you're not interested. Not at all. I love ancient fish. Why? They taste pretty good. <sighs> I see you have a calorie mate. Calorie mate? The thing you're holding now? Oh, the little block that looks like a cookie? It was pretty good. Wasn't it? Yeah, but what the hell was it? What? I've never seen anything like it. What? Hold on. You just ate something without even knowing what it was? Yeah, it looked good. Oh. 
So, what was it? Calorie Made is an energy supplement that contains all the proteins, lipids, vitamins, carbohydrates, and minerals needed for a balanced diet. It's a well-balanced food. Because of that, it's just perfect for giving your body the nutrition it needs in combat. It sounds like a space-age food. Real astronaut food is not very good, but that should taste fine. Yeah, and it'll help balance out all this jungle food I'm eating. It's easy and quick to eat, so it's perfect when you're running late for an important mission in the morning. I've never been late for a mission. Really? Aren't you always keeping people waiting? Huh? It's easy to keep track of your calorie intake and receive the nutrition your body needs, so it's good for losing weight, too. All of the geisha girls in Japan use it for watching their calories. Is that why they're all so slim? Right. And any diet where you eat nothing at all is bad for the body. I see. You seem to know a lot about Japan, don't you? Yes. I love Japan. I see you've captured a poison dart frog. The poison dart frog is native to the tropical rainforests of Central and South America. They normally grow between two and five centimeters in length, but for some reason the ones in that area seem to be much bigger than that. Poison dart frogs are known to carry a potent neurotoxin called pomeliotoxin. Long ago, people used the poison to coat their arrows for hunting. Watch out, because if you eat one, you'll get food poisoning. I see you caught a markhor. The markhor is a kind of wild goat that lives in mountainous areas. It's quite large, so I don't think you'll be able to capture one alive, even with the tranquilizer gun. All right. Speaking of which, do you know the origin of the name markhor? No. It means snake eater in Persian. Snake eater? Lost your appetite? Not at all. It tasted pretty good. I think I'll have it again sometime. Hmm. I see you've got yourself a Baltic hornet's nest. Baltic hornets are a variety of hornets that inhabit that area. The difference between them and other hornets is that they produce honey in their nests. Inside the nests are larvae, pupa, and adults. You can eat them all. In particular, the honey you find inside the nest is delicious and full of nutrients. It's easy to digest and helps pep you up when you're feeling tired. In short, it's the perfect survival food. Honey can also be used as a burn ointment. When honey is applied to a burn, it creates a protective coating over the skin. When you knock down a hornet's nest, a burn ointment will appear along with it, so don't forget to pick it up. Of course, the hornets aren't going to give up their nest without a fight. If you knock a nest down, a large swarm of hornets will come flying out, so be careful. I see you've got yourself a ration. Rations are portable meals carried by Soviet soldiers. No, they're not. Huh? They're disgusting portable meals carried by Soviet soldiers. Hey, you should be grateful. Those things are designed to last. No matter how long you keep a ration, it'll never go bad. And they're surprisingly good for you, too. I'd take a snake over this any day, even if it's a little rotten. You are hopeless. <laughs>